from somewhere in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likey Show. How is this possible, man? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likes. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likes Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you... really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing whacker or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio with an email from a male listener named Sasha. I say a male listener named Sasha because how many guys are named Sasha? So there I said it. Sasha writes, Dear Tom, I have a question that I thought maybe could be answered by some of your women listeners. I have noticed that women that are middle-aged start chopping their hair and arranging it in extremely ugly hairstyles that seem very strange. Stranger than the haircut itself is how common this practice is as so many women do it. I am not interested in women calling in and giving the answer that their hair is more easily manageable when shorter. We already know this. What strikes me is that this type of hair is so extremely ugly and unfeminine that I think that maybe there are some other reasons why women do this. I'm speculating that maybe the women's hair changes as hormones change when they get older and their hair cannot look good long or something like that. I don't know. Sasha says, I was wondering if some of the women listeners could shed some light on this issue. Sasha, I'm going to give you my opinion about this subject. It's something we've referred to on the air before. It is my belief that in this country, women have a different attitude than women say in Latin America. Most women in Latin America, I'm not talking about Spain, which is not Latin America and has nothing to do with what's going on here, because Spain and the United States, women have this in common. Women in Spain do it, too. But when we're talking about Central America or South America, women don't do this. Women grow their hair long, and it stays long. It stays long even if it turns gray. Many women in Latin America don't even dye their hair. They let it go gray, and it's long, and that's that, and it can be beautiful. It can be fantastic. In this country, I believe long hair is one of those what I call loss leaders. Women keep their long, beautiful hair long enough to sucker you into marrying them. And then once they sucker you in, they chop it off. And then they don't care so much how they look anymore. They don't care if they look butch or lesbified. They don't care if their hair is a lousy hairstyle or something that their gay hairdresser chose for them. That maybe look cute, making your wife look like a boy. But uh, guys just are not turned on by that. And amazingly enough, I think women are not aware how much we hate it, how much we hate short hair. Very few women are hot enough to wear short hair. And in fact, even the women who are hot enough, I would prefer them in long hair. I would. Now, I know there's a lot of you pussies who grew up with uh, single moms and they had short hair and they convinced you that this is the way a woman should look. And so some of you guys are willing to sign on. But to me, nothing looks better than a woman with long, flowing, beautiful hair. And that means before she's in a relationship and after. Women who chop off their hair, and by the way, it usually goes hand in hand with chunking up a good 50 pounds. Uh, it's just showing no respect for the men they are with. None. None. So let's give Sasha the answer to his question. Uh, on the one hand, I want to talk to women who've done this. 
or who think it's a good idea to cut their hair short. Let's find out why women who had long hair now in mid middle age, they just tend to cut it short. Why? And uh, so many of them don't even care how it looks. They just cut it short any old way just to get it short. And let's talk to men about what they think about short hair. I think it's hideous. And I have seen so many women who have long, beautiful hair just to attract a man to marry them. And then as soon as the guy's in the door or as soon as they have a baby or something, that hair is gone. Can we get Sasha his answer here, please? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. I've been with my girlfriend for three years. I have never once been to a chick flick with her. I have never once held her purse in public. Okay? I have my ball. It's the Tom Likas Show. Right! The Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. A listener, a male in his 20s, wants to know why women after a certain age just cut their hair short. And I say after they get married, they feel they don't need to have long hair. It's just to attract you in. G on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, I am so glad you brought this topic up. I have a girlfriend who says her thing is she has lots of rules, and she says after a certain age, no matter what you look like, no matter what your life is, you should cut your hair and you should start dressing differently. It's just, it's all about age for her. Really? You look good. What does that have to do with anything? I mean, there are some women who uh, who are older who have beautiful long hair. Right. And I mean, who look good enough to wear clothes that are low cut or whatever. And um, I don't know, but she and I are not friends anymore. That was just a recent, (laughs) that was a recent thing that happened. I understand. Wow. Yeah. So I think for a lot of women, they, and she's from the Midwest and I know Midwest people are like um, women from Portland, I think. Yeah. (laughs) Right. Is that what you call it? Kind of porky. Yes. (laughs) And she did, you know, she put on weight after a certain age and it's just, and it was, and she's not even married. And it's like it's okay to her to be that way. She'll never meet a guy. Well, and she's bitchy too. That, oh, sorry, am I allowed to say that? Yes, sorry. you are. Okay, yeah. So that's that doesn't help. Is that she's like very set in her ways? But I'm glad you brought that up because I go out and I have long hair, and I'm 45, and um, I know that guys do like that, and personally, I like it. So long hair is hot. Short hair is not. Well, yeah, it's not like you can be pulling on short hair that way. That's right, <laughs> especially while spanking with the other hand. <laughs> oh, anyway, I just wanted to call in and say that because that's a huge pet peeve of mine. You know, I think certain, I know what you say that like women my age are way past our expiration date. And in a lot of ways, you're right. But I think that if you feel good and you feel like you look pretty decent, you should just do what you want. Age is just another number you can throw out the window sometimes. Why would any guy want to be with somebody who says, all right, uh, now that I'm married, I don't need to look good anymore? Right. Or just have rules. I mean, just so many rules. Anybody with that many rules would be, like, just a problem to hang with as far as I'm concerned anyway. Thank you, G. Thank you. Bye-bye. Appreciate the call. Here's Bethany on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. I have um, two theories. Now, granted, I'm not old, so I'm not sure if they're true. But I would say that for the younger generation, when they cut their hair off, a lot of the times it might have to do with locks of love, like growing it out long and then cutting it off for the cancer patients. But I think for the older ladies, they have a tendency to try and find that hairstyle that they felt the prettiest in. Um, because you see, like, the beehives and those shorter 60s views coming back again. And I'm thinking it might have to do with they felt really pretty. They're coming they back in that. fashion magazines edited by women and gay men. Okay, and that's fine. They deserve jobs, too. Okay, but what I'm saying about that is straight guys do not like beehives, do not like short hair. I don't they're coming back in with who? No, I'm saying the older ladies like um, I don't care how old they are. Guys like long hair. Yeah, but I'm just saying that maybe they felt prettiest when they were younger and that's the hairstyle they wore when they were younger. Because you see a lot of ladies keeping um, the Jennifer Anderson look, um, you know, longer than what she had it for and that sort of stuff. Like, Well, that. longer than anybody cared about Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. I mean, does so, anybody even uh, know what she's doing now? 
I, I don't know. Does anybody care? I'm sure she does. No, no. I mean, <laughs> former fans who used to wait to see what her new hairstyle would be for every season of Friends. Oh, yeah. Where are those women now? Maybe they have last season's haircut still. Who do they look to now? I I don't maybe know. Maybe they, they're really still wearing their hair like the last season of Friends, maybe. Yeah. All right. Bethany, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. George on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom. George. Long time listener. What's going on? It's doing a radio show here, George. I hear you. Hey, listen. Women do not know what they want. We know that. Those two that you just talked to have no clue what's going on out there today. Who wants short hair? Unless you look like them anymore. You need long hair. You need to look like a woman. Stop wearing jeans. Look like a woman. Act like one. And we'll be okay with it. You keep your end of the bargain. We'll keep our end of the bargain. By the way, in her day, Demi Moore looked much better with long hair. Sorry. What was that? I said in her day, Demi Moore looked much better with long hair. Oh, that's her opinion. But that's just a woman that I threw out there because that's just who I was. No, no, it is my opinion. You don't agree? If she looks better with long hair or short hair? Long hair, yeah. Well, of course she looks better with long hair, but she always looks good with uh, short hair. Here's my point, okay? Well, what happened to the woman that actually is going to please her man because she is a woman? She's not trying to please herself. Okay? Well, uh, the, the, the women like that are not born in the United States of America. Of course they are. No, they're really not. I mean, are there exceptions to every rule? But generally now, women do things for themselves. They don't care about pleasing a man. That's why so many women wear male-looking uh, outfits and uh, chop their hair off and gain weight. They don't care. Well, the reason being is, you remember I said, you keep your end of the bargain, we'll keep ours, is because maybe the guy that's with that woman, that's been married with that woman with 15, 20, 30 years, maybe he has lost the touch. Maybe he is not doing what he was doing 10 years ago. And who does? The well, fact well is, the bottom line is he's still paying the rent, and so he has a right to expect to come up with something hot. Well, that's a different story. But the average person that keeps their hair short is either... All I know is not being married. Every woman I know tries to look hot for me. That's a good reason not to marry any of them. Well, that's your own opinion. but Yes, it's my own opinion. I think it's valid, too. That every woman that's been going out with you is trying to look hot for you? Yes, as opposed to when you marry one and then they don't care what they look like anymore. Well, why do you think they don't care what they look like? Cause because they got what they wanted, because they look good in order to get a man to sign a contract. Okay. Then once they get the man's name on the contract, there's no longer any pressing need to look good. So does your brand new car still smell brand new? Guess what? When my brand new car doesn't smell brand new, I take it in, I get a new one. Exactly. And same thing with women. But when they lose that new car them. smell, when they, that's exactly right. You don't marry them. And they maintain that new car smell as long as they possibly can. Then when they don't, you dump their ass. It's that simple. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Frankie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm great. It's so funny because me and my roommate were just talking about this the other day, about cutting my hair or not. I have long hair. And I have a three-month-old, and it's getting hot. You know, it's like I, I don't know what to do with my hair. I mean, I look, I look, it, I guess it depends on whether or not you look good with short hair or if you, if you don't. You know, I was in the Army. I cut my short when I went to boot camp. You know, and it's long now, but it's it's hard to maintain long hair. And, and guys that want long hair, I mean, when you cut it short, like Jennifer Aniston's, you know, you can still pull on that. Right? I, I, I'm telling you right now, first of all, most guys don't think Jennifer Aniston is hot. Well, I'm just using her as an example. I, I'm using her as an example, too. Most guys don't think she's hot. Okay, well, does, well, then she doesn't look nice with short hair. I look good with short hair. I know that, you know. Yeah, but good, good. again, guys prefer long hair. I don't care what you look like. <laughs> I don't know. Well, what is it with long hair, though? It looks better. It looks feminine. Okay, but... Short hair looks masculine. End of story. No, 
it doesn't. Yes. I mean, it depends on how short yes. you cut it. It depends it does. on how short you cut it. I mean, like G.I. Jane. I mean, if you well, again, you can right. sit here. By the way, it doesn't matter what I think. You can sit here and try to talk me into this all day. I'm telling you, guys don't prefer it. And you don't have the same pick of guys having short hair that you would have if you had long hair. You think you do, but you don't. All right, that's true. I mean, I mean if a guy's hair is longer than mine, all right, obviously I'm not going to... Be with him. That's not the point. The point is, we don't it has nothing to do with what the length of our hair is. We want your hair to be long. Oh, why is it going to be a double standard? There's no double standard. I, uh, see, I, I'll tell you, here's the double standard. I, I'm not going to live with any woman, and therefore, they can do it my way or the highway. Well, don't you have controlling issues? Uh, no, I really don't, because I don't control anybody. If they If they want to have short hair, they can date somebody else. True. I mean, it's just no controlling involved. Go date someone else. <laughs> All right, that's true. I mean, if I mean, if they, if they you want see, to no one can be accused of. You see, that's the reason you don't marry anybody. You don't let them move in. Then they can't accuse you of controlling them. I'm not married, and you know, I'm, I'm sure I'm, you're not. I'm, I'm, you know, as long as I know I'm happy with the way I look, I'm gonna. Well, we'll see if you still so feel that know. way when you're 28, 29. You're still unmarried. We'll see if you feel that way then. I'll still feel that way then, because I know I look good. Well, once that clock starts ticking, once that biological time clock starts ticking, we'll see if you're still happy with it the way it is. My biological clock is ticking. I have the love of my life. I have my daughter. (laughs) Oh, so you already knocked one out. There we go. 21 years old, already uh, knocking them out. That's okay, though. You know, that's the love of my life is my daughter. And that's oh, it. boy. Another reason. I, and now, that, now that probably also explains why you have short hair. I, I still have long hair. I'm still debating on whether to cut it or not. You yeah, know? well. I, mean, I look good both ways. If you want guys, you want long hair. And when you're a single mother, you need every weapon you can get. No, because my, my daughter's dad, didn't it didn't matter to him whether or not I had short hair. Yeah. He liked that I had long hair. Where is but... he now? Huh? Where is he now? <laughs> Thing yeah, the reason that's because you have hair. short hair, among other things. No, not because my hair was long or short. It was, you know, it didn't work out between me and him. Why not? Because we had our own different issues. Like? Just issues. Such as? <laughs> Did we just uh, disagreed upon a lot of stuff. Probably hair length would be one of them. No, it wasn't hair length. There was more different, deeper issues than that. Like what? Like uh, me cheating or him cheating. Oh, you cheated on him, too. Huh? You cheated on him, too. I did not cheat on him. What do you mean, me cheating on him? Well, he was always, you know, he had short man's complex. He what? He had short man's complex. I see. So <laughs> why did you why did you decide to have a baby with somebody like that? Uh, you know, it, it just happened. I just no, it ahead. didn't. You made it happen. Okay, I came home, and I was, upstairs, you know, just came home from training from the Army, and, and it just kind of, you know, it happened. Uh, no, it didn't happen. You made it happen. Okay. Happened, but it just happened. No, no, it happened because you decided to have sex without any birth control. Okay, that's true. Fine. You made the decision. Take responsibility for it. Okay, okay, okay. I Don't be immature. Happen. Okay, I made it happen. Yeah, but regardless, it didn't matter if my hair was long or short. Ugh, God Almighty. <laughs> that's enough. I can't take any more of that. Christ. Julie on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. It's a pleasure. I'm sure it is. You know, I think you hit the nail right on the head. Um, when a woman cuts her hair, she does gain 50 pounds. But it's, overall, it's a, I think it's a laziness factor. Um, you know, the, the overweight women tend to cut their hair short because it's, you know, less work for them. The, the mothers that have, uh, you know, that, have, that are older and that have three or four kids, they don't have the time to uh, take care of themselves like they used to. So it's just easier, low maintenance, to cut it off. I'm 29. I've had long hair all my life. I plan to keep it that way. But, you know, it's just a laziness factor because, you know, it, it long hair does. It takes a lot more to take care of and maintain and make it look nice. And it, those women just have kind of given up. It's one less thing for them to do. And in my opinion, the only hair on the woman that does need to be cut and taken care of is the hair down south. <laughs> they have no problem uh, maintaining that, do they? No, that one is not a problem. But I, I just want to say I agree with you 100%. And can you take me out with a screaming orgasm? I certainly can, Julie. Oh, oh, God. Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Elizabeth on the Tom Likas show. Hello. 
Hi, hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I'm calling. To the, my this is my opinion. I think us Latinas um, grow long hair because I think we're more in tune with our sexuality. We know how to use it. We know how to um, please a guy, and it's just part of our culture, and it's something that we we do. We you know we grow long hair and we keep it long. We we maintain it. It's just a part of our culture, and, and you know white. Sorry to say this, and hope I don't offend anybody, but white women, you know, are all about the short hair, gaining weight, and not pleasing a guy. And it's just because I feel that they're not in tune with their sexuality. They don't embrace it. You know, it's something because they're so eager to claim their independence. It's something that they, they, you know, brush aside. And as Latinas are, we can be independent at the same time. Great lovers. And it goes with the whole package. It's, you know, runs through our blood. We're sexy just by, you know, by nature. Very few Latinas are not sexy. Very few. We have long hair. We're usually thin. You know, we have big, expressive eyes. We have beautiful skin tone. And on top of that, great hair. Nice, thick, long, straight. And that's my opinion. Well, that's why I have voted with my, uh, let's say, my feet. I voted with my feet. That's that's primarily who I date. Right. And I think, we, you know, one thing about Latinas is that we can be independent. We can make six figures income. But we also you know at the end of the day we're women. And we will know what we want and how we get it. And we know how to keep it. And most of you will still come home and make dinner. I still make dinner, still give it up any time and every time he wants it. And that's, you know, that's why we're still together 30 years, you know, a couple years later. I love it. Yeah, I agree. Sounds I good agree. to me. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I think, you know, I might be biased because I'm a Latina, but I think we're the best, and that's just it. And, you know, that goes to, you know, and that's why, you know, and I can tell you, I can have any man I've wanted, and I've known that, you know, since I was 13. Any man I desired, I got it, and always do. And, you know, I got my, and I will tell you this, I picked my husband. I'm the one that picked him. He didn't pick me. I picked him. I knew what I wanted, and I got it, and that's why he's still there. Well, I think the Caucasian women listening are just not going to learn. They're never going to learn. Sad for them. Let them, you know, let them claim their independence. That's what they want. They're eager to claim their independence, but they forget. At the end of the day, they're still women, and that's what you got to remember. You can, you know, I'm a bitch. Oh, sorry. I, I can be really, you know, crabby, but that's at work. I let it out on, you know, I don't owe those men anything, but the man at home, I owe him everything, and that's just the way I function, and I've always made six figures and up, same with him, and just when I come home, they know, you know, that's who I I know who I come home to, and I know who's the boss. They can call me whatever, but at the end of the day, I'm the one that's married. I'm the one that's happy. Everybody you're the one who's still. You're the one who's still together. Yeah, yeah. We're to you know, and he doesn't go anywhere. We do everything together. There's no need. There's no need. There is no need. And just and you know, I think for most independent women out there, it's a balance. You got to find it. You got to look for it. You know, you can't. You know, we're women. You you be a crab at work. You know, tell everybody off. Claim your independence there. But when you come home. Be a woman and do what you need to do. And if you got to hire help, we'll make six figure income and hire help. And, you know, I've, I have a nanny, I have a maid. I bought, you know, but when it comes to my husband, I'm the one that takes care of him. Always have. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I agree. Well, nice talking to you, Tom. Thanks, Elizabeth. Appreciate the call. Here comes Ryan on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hey, Tommy. How are you? All right, Ryanie. Hey, just tuned in right now, and uh, I think you're talking about long hair, short hair, correct? Yeah. Hey, I dated one for, she was OC10 for uh, a couple years. Uh, OC10 equals bitch, uh, long hair, awesome, nice, thick breast. Um, but, uh, you know, thanks to you, I DT beat her and, uh, you know, get more ass than a proctologist. Love that. Um, but, uh, you know, now I'm dating somebody, and uh, she cut her hair short. And at first I was a little skeptical about it, but she's got the Victoria Beckham uh, hairstyle. It is hot. I'll tell you what. It is hot. It's a change for me. And I don't think I'm that's hot. hot. I, you know, that's I mean, teach his own. I don't think most exactly. men like that. I just don't. Well, you, you understand. I'm in the late 20s, you know, and you're, obviously you're quite older, so, you know, our tastes uh, differ. Um, but, I don't uh, think that's the reason, because uh, uh, there's lots of guys who are younger who prefer it that way. Uh, when there are younger guys who prefer it short, it's because they grew up with single mothers who are feminists or liberated women uh, who burned their bras and kept their hair cut short and looked like little uh, chunksters. <laughs> Actually, my, my parents are still married, but, uh, you know, it's uh, she's fashionable. She cut it short, and... Uh, She's getting some extensions put in in a couple months, so... Wait, wait, why? Yeah, she's cut her hair short, then she puts extensions in. Why? You know, uh, a little variety, change it up a little bit. You know, guys like... Why about you just grow the hair long? Why do you need extensions? Well, you know, obviously it takes a long time, but... uh, Uh, 
You're killing me, Larry. Uh, you know what, Tom? I love it. You know, there's, there's still a hair to pull there, even though it's not long. It's still there, and uh, I don't know. I'm loving it, Tom. Hey, take me out with a bong hit, Kobe style. There you go, Ryan. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Were you a virgin? No, man. I, I, I've been with a lot of women in my day. Hundreds and hundreds. Mother's best friend, grandmother's best friend, girlfriend, mothers. He's been with every woman on earth. Everybody. Look at the white pages. Everybody with a female name, he's been with her. I wow. wouldn't say every woman, but I mean, any woman that will let me, that's my problem. Any woman that's that a much smaller me, list. I think that's the biggest case of virginitis I've ever heard of. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom, that's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Ah, uh, yes, the listener wants to know why, 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 why. Do uh, women cut their hair short when they uh, get into middle age or get a little older? Ruby on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Ruby. Hello. I want to let you know that I completely agree that short hair is a uh, pretty much hideous on women i've had both long and short hair and um definitely men prefer the long hair but it goes both ways long hair on men is equally disgusting uh i like a man to be masculine to be a man and not have longer hair than me or more hair product in it so uh men please keep it short and women keep it long yeah i i think that's uh, pretty uh it's not only traditional I think that naturally men and women feel that way. Yeah, it's kind of in their uh, their standard traditional role as far as looks go. Good points, Ruby. Thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Shada on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. I was calling because I was actually going to tell you that in order to solve this problem i shouldn't agree or disagree with you i need to make a comment about something you referred to earlier um you said something about how if the new car doesn't smell like the new car you're going to go get a new one right but um i disagree if your new car doesn't smell the same you would go get a car wash so in the same sense you no know, even when you get a car wash it does not have that new car smell it may smell clean but no, it's still a used car. It's the same sense. I mean, you can go and get, in the same sense, I'm saying you could make incentives, the same maintenance it takes for a woman to keep her hair long and beautiful and primped and do all these things. It's probably the same cost as it would take you to go through the whole new process and find some other car. No, not me, because I don't spend that kind of money. Maybe others. Okay, well, in general, it should be a give and a take. If a woman has no, to take no, that, I, you know, I don't believe in uh, compromise in a relationship. I think the more you have to compromise, the more likely it is you've picked the wrong person. Well, ironically, when you fall in love, you make compromise. Uh, uh, if you have to compromise, you're in love with the wrong person. I think that you are falling in love with a girl with just long hair. You're with the wrong person because you're looking super. I good. would never fall in love with somebody just because of long hair. Long uh, hair would be what would attract me in the beginning, and they would. If I were going to fall in love with somebody, which doesn't happen often, uh, it would have to be for much more than long hair. I would have to be able to stand to be around them more than twenty minutes a day. Okay, so if she had short hair, would it make a difference of all the other things? Right yes. Now? Yes, because if I'm not sexually attracted to somebody, the rest isn't going to happen. Okay, well, then I think that my disagreement with you is in the fact that even if a woman is to say she's going to have this, I personally have very long hair, and I take care of my hair, and I do all those things, those grand things that men like and think are sexually beautiful. But in general, it's not always going to be like that. Like, it's 
100% not always going to be perfect. You're going to pull that long hair back. You're not going to wear it down all the time. And it's going to contour the face the same way as short hair would anyway. But I know it's there. And anytime I want to let it down, I can. <laughs> so you're basically breeding or taking care of the cattle. That's right. All right. And cattle, yeah, I, cattle is the operative word. I'm glad you know that. <laughs> raising the cattle. You know, so you can just take me out anytime you want, and I'll show you my beautiful long hair. Is that so? <laughs> I want to see what's behind the long hair. Yeah, well, it's it's a sight to see, definitely. Is that so? It's very so. Well, sounds good to me. Wow. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Janet on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, Janet. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. Great. Okay, I had a comment regarding the long hair versus short, and I am an African American woman, and um, it, it appears sometimes. Well, in this particular situation, when you're referring to um, long hair, um, is your target audience? particularly Caucasian women, because I find that with African-American women, we wear our hair in a variety of styles, and I'm sure you're aware of that. Yes, and, you do, uh, but I was also a, a fan back in the day of the full-on fro, man. I like that. <laughs> yeah, and see, I wear my hair both long and short, and, um, well, my hair is not short, but sometimes I wear it up. Um, I wear extensions. I make it longer. Um, I do have hair, but um, I, I think it depends on the individual. Some women, it is very attractive on them, and it looks sexy on them. It doesn't make them look manly or like, you know, as you in, you stated earlier, they don't look as feminine. I sort of disagree with that, and I do agree with you on most of the things. And with me, um, I mean, no matter what my hair length is, guys attract me all the time. I mean, the majority of the men that I attract are under the age of 30, because they assume that I'm like 27, 28, and I'm 39. And um, the hair issue has never been a problem with me finding or guys being attracted to me, and I date guys of all races. So I really can't agree with that in its entirety. Well, again, I, you know, uh, I, I like long hair on women of all colors. That's what I like. And I don't care if it's straight. I just like it long. Yeah, and I can understand that. Now, I do agree with you when you make the comment that when women get older or married, um, they tend to cut their hair. I find that with a lot of Caucasian women because African-American women have always been taught that their hair was a prized possession. I mean, that's particularly in that culture. So African-American women don't tend to chop all their hair off, particularly if they get it to grow out really long. And um, I do agree with, you know, that part. But I think that women that are into themselves and stylish and they keep up their appearance, when they do cut their hair, it's for reasons for being stylish. like Yeah, but, but again, it's not to attract men because many of the uh, things that are considered stylish are determined by gay men. Okay, I can agree with that. So therefore, they make women look like boys. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I will say Very that. hot in the fashion magazines, but straight guys are not attracted to it. Right, but I mean, if they're right, but there are women that are looking, uh, presenting themselves, as you would say, like the women in the fashion magazines, and they are very into themselves, and they're stylish, and their hair is nice, and men will look at them, to me, in my opinion, I mean, I've seen men that are with women with short hair that are extremely hot looking, and I don't think they would turn them down because they, they have No, but long. if they had a choice, that woman would have long hair. I agree. Yeah, well, well, yes. I mean, yeah, but I don't think that's a criteria for a man to initially say whether he wants to date her oh it is for not. me oh it is for me really well, yeah. yeah i can respect that i can respect that because i have certain criteria for men i mean um like i said people are stunned like i was out at um some bar in um 
Beverly Hills upscale bar and the guy was amazed he's like you just can't be 39 you know nothing and, you know he was making a comment and assuming that I was not experienced and I go he goes no you have to be at least 27 I go no I'm not so I end up attracting men that are way younger than I am and um, I think it's just in how you carry yourself and how you um maintain your um, I think men who like women with short hair grow up as single mothers Really? Yep. <laughs> well, I do love you, Tom, and I really, really live by the likers rules. I just apply them for my own purpose. Are you getting more ass than a toilet seat? Well, I wouldn't say that. I, mean, <laughs> I think that's the guy's. I look. I think that's the guy's job. But I do love everything. It, you know, I think you're awesome. I think you're a genius, and I really, really. Um, feel that a lot of women would learn and um, from you. I actually tell my friends things that I've learned from you, you know, and about men and how they should, um, you, you, you know, respond when men don't want to hear. And I really agree with you 100% on a lot of things, and um, it's informative. It's very informative. I'm glad to hear that. All right. Well, thanks, and um, it was good talking to you. Thank you, Janet. Bye-bye. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Corina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. Hey, so my opinion on why women cut their hair short is because, like, okay, I was at a salon the other day, and I was getting my hair trimmed, and this lady brought in a picture of Nicole Richie with short hair, 49, 50-year-old woman and said, make me look like her. So they think, okay, the moment I cut my hair, I'm going to look like Nicole Richie or Victoria Beckham or anybody like that, and they think it's completely going to change them. And they just, they really have no idea. And they're still big, fat slobs. Exactly. And it, I think it goes back to the point, too, where you say that women dress for other women, not for a man. You know what I mean? Well, I, what I believe is that women uh, cut their hair for other women, but, uh, you know, the, the, they all read Vogue or other uh, fashion magazines uh, that are largely uh, photographed and edited by gay men. Yeah. So the result is you have women who look like little boys. Yeah, that's very true. And uh, most straight guys are not attracted to that look. And like what the last caller was saying, that... Um, some women look very attractive with short hair, and no matter how beautiful the woman is, short hair is just not cute. No. At all. Nope. And, um, you know, my boyfriend threatens me sometimes. He says, if you ever cheat on me, he never says, oh, I'm going to leave you or this and that. He says, I'm going to shave your head because <laughs> I have really long hair. So he just tells me, oh, I'm just going to shave your head and see if you find the next guy like that. Wow. I know. So. But you love him. Oh, well, you know, it's just playing around, but, you know, my hair is one of the things that he loves about me, so can't get rid of that. That's right. All right, Tom, can you pick me out with a bong hit? I can indeed. No cough. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to William on the Tom Likas Show. How are you today, sir? Doing okay, William. Uh, I want to make a comment about the uh, long hair. Long hair looks so wonderful on a woman. But there are very few women that can pull off the short hair, uh, like Holly Berry. I mean, on that style on a, another woman would probably look awful. She's one of the few women that can pull off the short look. And even then, and, I prefer her with long hair. Oh, absolutely. But a woman has to be petite. If she's going to wear short hair, if she's got any size on her at all, no, she needs long hair. And she looks like somebody's grandmother. Oh, absolutely. And the only other people that can wear short hair are the older women. You know, uh, over 40s, 50s, short hair looks good on them. Because nobody wants not, them anyway. You're not, you're not trying to get them in bed. That's right. Who And what sane man would be? Oh, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another little comment I'd like to make. Uh, tell your listeners uh, to tell their friends. Don't just assume that their friends have heard of Tom Likas. Get out there and tell them. I didn't hear about your show until December, 
And it would have saved me so much money if I'd have known about it. I am so glad you said that. So glad you found us, too, William. Thank you so much. Thanks to your friend, too. The Tom Likas Show.